The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments, you shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters, or mother, or father, or children, or lambs, for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age, houses and brothers, and sisters and mothers, and children and lambs, with persecutions, and eternal life in the age to come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. We've been having a way this week for we had study days. Our topic of the study days, Monday to Wednesday, about preaching, about giving home. Maybe many, many of us priests here in the diocese do not give, do not give good homilies. So our topic here about giving homilies of preaching. And it is nice also to have to have this live streaming and recorded after and the clip so I I will edit afterwards in the clip I will post in YouTube so for the clip of homies short homies is that um, all daily and Sundays in my YouTube sometimes when I edit I watch myself I watch myself oh I'm doing this it's not good <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have money, they said. And then I <laughs> I watch myself, so I learn. I learn to what I'm doing. I learn that I I tend to repeat, repeat words, repeat the... If we like to say something, 
Yuda would say, we have said that father already. <laughs> so, shame on you. I can, I tend to repeat, so I just repeat. But, <laughs> so, it's good. So, preaching is about preaching and, and, and then on the, on the fourth day, on Thursday, our topic was about uh, end of life care. Whole person care and life. That they're dying and home for how to attend to them. And the question of our end of life care on the fourth day, Thursday, was how do you want to die? How do you want to die? Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are many there are many responses. That's the first question of the morning. How do you, do you want to die? There are many, many responses. But before that, about preaching, and you know this one, do you remember this one? This was given to me by our kids. Just given to me by our kids. Maybe around Holy Week. Maybe around Holy Week this year. And um, one said, Thank you for giving me communion, love. Thank you for buying ice cream. <laughs> it's, I got blackberry. Try it. A blackberry. Try it. So one said, thank you for all your hard work. Oh, do I have, do I, do I do hard work? For teaching us about God and being a priest. Love. Thank you. You are a great priest. You are a great priest. And like your homilies. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> see? This, this, this is nice. No words. No words. All hearts. No words on all hearts. Thank you for being a shepherd, watching over us. You are an amazing funny priest. That's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, am I funny? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for being a priest. Thank you for buying us ice cream. <laughs> so, so Today is our first uh, children's, children's Mass, or the start of the uh, Faith Formation Children's Mass. So, we have kids. <laughs> then we are planning to have on the October 31st, Halloween morning, morning Mass. We will have a, I hope we can improvise something. We will have parade of saints. Yes. So the kids will wear costume of saints. Yes. So Brooklyn will wear what saint do you will wear, Brooklyn? Baby Jesus? <laughs> Baby Jesus. <laughs> so we will have parade of saints on that day, morning, on that mass. So we will they will be part of our entrance procession. And we will give them ice cream <laughs> and chocolates, right? Candies. Brooklyn is, uh, Brooklyn likes to have candies. Unless you shake your head. <laughs> in our, in the question, of, in our reflection today, it is good to have, to have, I have been saying that it's good to, for me, to watch, to watch myself in homilies. That I know what I'm, I was doing, what's my, I need to improve, that I, I need to do something more in my homilies. It's good to watch ourselves, to know more about ourselves. Amen? Amen. Amen. The question in our gospel today, uh, this young man who approached Jesus, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? 
what must I do to inherit eternal life? That's, that's the main package. That's the main flight to inherit eternal life. Amen? Amen. Amen. To enter heaven. So we must see each other in heaven. No other, no other focus, no other goal, but in heaven eternal life. But the Lord said, and the Lord said, you know the commandments, you shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not be broad, honor your father and your mother. And he replied, I have observed all these things from my youth. So he knows himself. I have observed these things from my youth. One of the great philosophers, I one of them, I forgot, who Socrates or Plato, an unexamined life is not worth living. An unexamined, to examine our lives, to see ourselves, to examine our lives always. And it is good in our in our daily lives. And how to examine our lives is always to have a heart of gratitude. A heart of, gra a heart of gratitude. To be always grateful. And how to be always grateful? Always look at our parents. Always look at our parents. Always look at your parents. To be always great grateful, always look at your parents. Look at them always. That's the hardest job in the world. Right? Parents? <laughs> parents here? The hardest yep. job in the world. And look at that. You always be grateful to examine ourselves. Brooklyn, right? Always look at our parents and see. Those, those of us who have no parents here, we tend to look at their pictures. We tend to look at their pictures and smile. And smile the memories of our parents. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because we're always grateful. We look at them always. We examine our lives. Now, also, it's also with our relationship with God. That's the commandment. Here, honor your father and your mother. Be honest always. Do not hurt. And that is God's commandments or loving relationship with Him. But then, the Lord said, um, the, when that man said, I have done all these things. And the Lord said, looking at him, loved him, and said to him, you are lacking in one thing. Do something. He said, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor. Meaning, do something. Do something. Sacrifice. To do something. Now, we, the question now is, what are the things that hinder us what are the things that hinder us to do something what are the things that hinder us to express God's love God's charity towards others answer that later <laughs> answer that answer that the whole day what are the things what are my what are my wealth that my riches that hinder, maybe you are rich in hate, rich in unforgiving heart, rich in selfishness, rich in everything negative that hinder you or hinder us to do something. And so as we continue to celebrate today the Lord in our midst, in the Eucharist, table of the word, table of the Eucharist, in our preaching, uh, the, the speaker said, It is good to hear people say, Father, that is a good service. It should be like that. It's just a good service. That's a good mass. You should not, you should not listen to Father, that's a good homily. <laughs> They're lying. <laughs> But when, the, when the speaker said, if, it's, if he says, or the prisoner says, that's a good service. There's something mystical, divine 
heavenly God, God may experience how can give the mass. This is a good service. Don't worry about the homie. <laughs> this is our hope and our prayer. This is our good service. God with us. We experience God in our midst. Amen. Amen. Amen.